All right, we have arrived. One more time, let's get it in, y'all. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo, the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann. On the early what I see through scripture study and prayer line on this 22nd day in October 2019. <clears throat> Let's get ready uh, to rock, y'all. Let's go to uh, Matty Yahoo 24, y'all. Matthew 24. Uh, I see everybody chiming in. S some of y'all is just like faithful. Apparently, you're learning. Uh, the Most High is blessing you, and I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Being faithful is a part of being His child, <clears throat> and that's the truth. It's a requirement too, but you know. It's a beautiful thing when the word grab you and draw you in. Let's go, y'all. Uh, Matthew's uh, 24, beginning at the uh, 45th birth. This was a conversation. Shannon, what's up, man? Uh, Teresa, Nicole, Big Sean. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Elder, Jean. Stone, and Al and Lisa and Fee and Will. We wall to wall, treetop tall, y'all. Mother, my mother, mother Joyce and Nelson. <coughs> Charvet. Come on, y'all, let's get in the work. Uh um Matty Yahoo. Matthews. 24, 45. Look what it says. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master have made ruler over his household to give them meat in, in, in due season? Um, this is a responsible believer. In fact, one that the Most High can trust with his household. A lot of people can't be trusted with the household of the Most High. <clears throat> this particular um, believer is. Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he cometh, shall find so doing. See, this individual is saved. But you got to always remember, he that endures to the end. Is this individual saved according to scripture? Of course. Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master had made ruler over his household to give them meat <clears throat> in due season? He's feeding. Now, to hug it tighter, y'all, everyone is called out of the darkest into the marvelous light. Have some responsibility to being the head and not the tail and the example. Not the follower, the example, the leader. And shares the word on whatever level you have it. Especially in your lifestyle. Who then is a faithful wise servant whom his master had made him ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? His master. Which is another indication of salvation, a relationship there. Whom his master had made <clears throat> ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his master when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that, 
this person has a relationship with the Most High. The 48th verse is still talking about that very same person. But and if that is the indicator that it's still talking about the same person, evil servant, um, we all have the ability to be evil. We got an evil nature that the word told us to mortify, to kill. <clears throat> and if you don't kill it, it's going to run your life. If you do not mortify the deeds of the flesh, then the deeds of the flesh, the deeds of your carnal nature, your humanity is going to take over and you're going to be going against the most high. We all have it. That's why the word said, blesses the man that endureth temptation. That evil nature is what's being tempted. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, that's the same servant that was potentially wise. Who then is a wise servant? Whom his master had made ruler over his household. Who is that? To give them meat and do season. Who is it that's feeding the people of Yah? <clears throat> Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he cometh, shall find doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler. You're going to be rewarded over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart. <laughs> Did you know um, you can be serving the most high and then say in your heart, not today. Not today. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. You ain't going to take advantage of me. Not today. I'm sick of this. Bill, I said to you that he shall make him rule over all his good. But that if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my master delayeth his coming, meaning... He's not coming right now. He's not coming today. So I'm finna do this. I need some me time. Literally believe that you can take a break from Yah. And a break from Yah is the satisfaction of the flesh. You met somebody that's sexy. So now it's it's time to take a break from Yah. You don't want him to come while you fornicating to commit adultery. So you say in your heart, he delayeth his coming. We know he's coming. We just want to deem he's not coming right now. He delayeth his coming. My master delayeth his coming. And because of thought like that, you gave place to the devil. The, the, the word said, don't give place to the enemy. You give action to the enemy. You got to watch how you think. Be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. You, we got to start learning how to ponder because when we move too fast, we mess up. We do and say things that is not cool. And we get too deep in it. We're now in the state of mind that he's not coming right now. I got time. Have you ever said that to yourself? I got time to get it right. The time to get it right is now. That's why the word teaches a, the a theological position like today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. When are we supposed to not harden our hearts? Because harden your hearts says, my master delayeth his coming. When shouldn't we harden our hearts to make a silly statement like that? The word says, Today, Hebrews 4, Psalms 95, today you hear his voice, harden out your heart. Today he's telling you what to do, do it. Don't harden your heart. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, what caused the most high to switch from a wise servant 
to an evil servant. In the 45th verse, he said, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Faithful and wise. And then in the 48th verse, but and if that evil servant, when he's talking about the same servant. Y'all don't see as man see. Uh, man look on the outer appearance, y'all look at the heart. The, 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 when that very same individual had the state of mind to be faithful to Yah, they were wise. <clears throat> when they had the state of mind to obey him, they were wise and they were a, 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 a blessing to the household, to the body. But 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 that same individual changed their mind, their, their heart changed. It was a change of the heart. You got you got folks that smile in his face, but they're really his enemy because they don't do nothing, he say. Don't let them find a woman. Don't let her find a man. Times we living in, don't let him find a brother. Don't let her find a woman. Times we living in, don't let don't let that brother find a wig and a bunch of makeup and some pumps. Days we living in. <laughs> but and if that evil servant is the condition of the heart, shall say in his heart. He said it in his heart. Took the the rescue mission for granted. Didn't didn't value what the Most High did for him or her. Want, want, want to do them. Tired of being lonely. Tired, come on. But that if that evil servant shall say in his heart, look, the word says, guard your hearts with all diligence for out of it flows the issues of life. You got to guard what you allow in your life. Guarding the heart is Watch the eye gates, the ear gates, your feeling. Watch it. Be careful. Guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of life. What you're going to do comes from your heart. And what you're not going to do is because it's not in your heart. That's why the word says, uh, 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 confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. It's... It, Life and death is in the power of the tongue and, 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 and is motivated or substantiated by the heart. You can say what you want with your mouth, but if your heart is not in it, it's not going to benefit you. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my master delayeth his coming. We have uh, the, the tendency of Doing stuff wrong, believing that we're going to have time to get it right. When we should have the state of mind of keeping it right. If you're right, stay right. But that if the evil servant shall say in his heart, some of us are brave enough to calendar a sin. You don't want to be the type of person that got a calendar for next month to go meet somebody. That you ain't supposed to be beating up with and doing stuff you ain't supposed to be doing. I don't care what it is. That is the state of mind of my, my, my master delayeth his coming. You believe you have time to get away with it. That's an evil state of mind. That's a state of mind of taking kindness for weakness. Taking, taking the most high for a joke. You should value your salvation. And you made a vow you should keep it. It's better not to make a vow than to make one and break it. See, see, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Somebody that's obeying the most high. That love him with all their heart, might, soul, and strength. And love his household, love his children, love his body. And, 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 and giving meat in due season. Meat of the word. And even uh, uh, the meat of the word in lifestyle, in action. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, this ain't working out. 
being saved ain't, ain't getting me a mate, ain't getting me paid. I need to take a break. He's not going to come back now and get my chips up. Wait a minute. Let me go find a lover illegally. Let me go fornicate. Let me, let, let, let me start wearing half shirts and cleavage lessness. Let me Daisy Duke some stuff. Let me pull some stuff up. <laughs> Let me tighten it up. Let me. But and if that evil service of shame is hard, it's a mindset. The word teaches a position that did you know the most high know how to deliver you blameless before his presence? And I'm gonna tell you something who he's going to present blameless before his presence is those that are not playing with him and very serious about him and really love him. Unfortunately, people make mistakes. It's unfortunately because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. But sometimes, unfortunately, I'm not preaching do it at all. That's why the words say, if any man sin. It don't say when, if, because you shouldn't. But if a person sin, it should be a mistake. And they're striving to get it right at all times. They, they want to be at peace with the Most High at all times. He's not coming like a thief in the night to catch you with your works undone when you really love him. That's not what he's trying to do. He know how to present you blameless before his presence. Mm -hmm. But that if that evil servant are saying his heart, now that's intentional. That's premeditated. That's a scary state. To be in is not a good state to be in. Can a person recover from that? Yeah, repent. Whatever you got on your calendar, go cancel it. Do that. A sin that you calendar, you plan on doing something tomorrow? You weren't caught off guard. You are you plotting this. But as if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my master delays is coming. You plan on getting away with it because you still plan on being with the most high. You plan on taking his kindness for weakness. You didn't purpose in your mind he loved you. You belong to him. And that he's going to forgive you after you apologize for something that you ain't even done yet. You're going to apologize to me for something you plotting to do? Apologize now before you do it. That means don't do it. But that if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my master delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servant. Now you're going against the body. You're going against other believers. You're going against the household of faith. You got grudges against people in the household of faith. You acting a fool. I didn't call you a fool. You acting a fool. Prayerfully, you don't end up being one. And shall begin to smite his fellow servant and eat and drink with the drunkard. Now, now you're back in the world. Now, now you're kicking it. Or you have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. You're religious. You didn't justify your alts. You didn't justify your position, your sinful position. You want to do you. You want to leave the household of faith to get your money up, to get your love life right. To, to, to lick your wounds of the alts you got. And shall begin to smite his Fellow servants shall eat and drink with the drunkards. The master of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. That's bad. When the Most High is plotting to come and catch you sinning. That's where the scripture come in. He comes like a thief in the night and he'll catch you with your works undone. He did that intentionally. Because you're doing what you're doing intentionally. Taking kindness for weakness. My master delayeth his coming is the poison state of mind. That, that, that is the problem. That's the problem. The poison state of mind is my master delayeth his coming. In other words, he's not coming right now, so I get to do me. Because I'm going to try to time when he's coming, and then I'm going to stop doing me and be obedient to him. So I can go to heaven. Like folks trying to take advantage of him. Use him for his fishes and loaves. 
you are the fish, you are the loaves, then I'm going to go. You got some heaven? Okay, well, let me eat this fish and these biscuits. Let me get a, let me get a two piece, two piece fish, them honey biscuits. Let me get six of them biscuits. I like them biscuits. They all gone, like they doing for them Popeyes or chicken sandwiches, crawling in the windows and fighting folks because they ran out. You out of, you out of fish and biscuits. Okay, uh, what time the bus coming for heaven? Okay, all right. Well, I'm finna go with these players. We finna go get our plan up. I'll be back. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my master delayeth his coming. You got a relationship with the most high, but you're going to delay it. You're not going to obey it. And shall begin to smite his fellow service and eat and drink with the drunkards. Party time. The master of that servant shall come in the day when he looking not for him. That's going to happen if the most high decides it's going to happen. And the master of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. You trying to time it. Your timing is going to be off prophetically. When you look at this. Your, your, your kryptonite is the state of mind of I'm going to do me and then I'm going to quit in time. If you have a state of mind like that, you're not going to quit in time. And the most high going to see to it that you don't quit in time. You have to repent from that stinking thinking. I'm going to get away with this. Oh, I'll do it. I'll just repent tomorrow. Okay, he said, okay, I heard you. You think, you think I wasn't listening and you think I'm that weak that I'm going to let that come to pass? That wicked state? You think that's the state of mind that I'm looking forward to living eternity with? If you think that, you got it twisted. You think I love you enough that you can be the devil. <laughs> you want to hang with the devil, act like the devil, but you want to come live with me? I, I put the devil out. <laughs> and I'm going to let you in? The master of that servant. You can't say this individual wasn't saved. It's the master of that servant. That's the relationship. Yah is the master of that servant. Shall come in the day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour that he's not aware of. And shall cut him asunder. That don't sound like heaven to me. And appoint him with the portion with the hypocrites. That don't sound like who's going to be in heaven. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Last time I checked that scripture, it was talking about hell. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the very same individual. You got folks saying, uh, once save, always save. What 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 they say, what what God gonna give you salvation and then take it away and then give it back and then take it away and then give it back? That don't that don't make no sense. You're right. Y'all don't do that. We do. We we obey him and then disobey him. We we be with him and then leave him and then come back and then leave him and then come back and then leave him. And if you leave him, you didn't endure to the end. See, he that endured to the end shall be saved. It, it, say in your life you left him and you came back. Hallelujah for you. He's been working with us and pleading with us to get right. If we do something wrong and we repent, he's fine with it. He, he had the concept. He told Peter. Peter said, Kepha, said, how many times should I forgive my brother? Seven times? He said, 70 times seven in one day. The most high is a forgiving Elohim, but it's to those that have the right state of mind. If you take it kindness for weakness, you don't have the heart of a believer. See, a requirement to be with him is to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Look at that state of mind. That is a necessity for salvation. To love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength is a commandment. It's also a condition of being to someone that believes. And someone that loves him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength and they're not putting no Elohim before him. 
They're not putting men and women before him, money before him, object. He's number one. And, and folks like that don't say, my master delayeth his coming. They can't wait for him to come. And they're going to continue to prepare in his absence. How absent is he? Not too absent to them. Because great is he that's in them than he that's in the world. He has baptized himself inside of them. He's coming back to physically rescue his children. But they're already living in him and they're going through the purification process willingly. That's a wicked heart to plot sin. Who that love y'all can plot sin? Literally, get a calendar and write down the sin right now or what you're going to do next month. A rendezvous. You didn't set it up. Who can do that? That belong to y'all. Mm -mm. Nah. Nah. If you can relate with that, I'm afraid for you. If you can relate with that. If you, if you talk about relate as far as reminiscing that you've done it before when you didn't love him like you should. But those of us that are supposed to be his children called out of the darkness into the martyr's light, can't even fathom plotting a sin for next week. They will rebuke that. Ain't no way in the world. Your flesh will rise up and try to tug you into doing stuff wrong, but you got to go to war. You definitely ain't plot willingly, give in to seducing spirits. Nah. Uh-uh. The enemy will try to tempt you to plot sin. But great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. The answer is no. No. Can't do it. Sorry. Plot it, I'm talking about. Plan it, I'm talking about. No. My master delays his coming, I'm talking about. to go to the Bahamas with somebody else's spouse. I'm talking about. Paid for it and plotted it. Prayerfully, you got enough time to be in his face and say, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't do this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Y'all help me. Come on, somebody. I'm going over there next Tuesday, and I'm a I'm a beat they behind. Help y'all. Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who? Is it you? Whom the master may rule over his household. He's entrusting you with his children, with his word. In the body. To give them meat in due season. To give the right reaction, including the word. In due season. Blessed is that servant. You're blessed when you obey the most high, doing what he tell you to do. Blessed is that servant whom the master, when he comes, shall find so doing, because it's he that endure to the end, when he come back for you, when your number is called. You're blessed if he catch you doing that. Verily I say unto you, he shall make him ruler over all his good. You end with a grin. But then if that evil servant, you gave into your evil nature. Because blessed is the man that endure. That servant that's obeying him is enduring his evil nature. But if he give in to it. But then if that evil servant shall say in his heart, what was holding his evil nature off was his heart. When he had a heart for the most high. But then if that evil servant shall give in in his heart. And say, my master delayeth his coming. I'm finna get drunk. I'm finna get high. I'm living like this. I got me a woman. Meet my needs. And shall begin to smite his fellow servant. Disrespecting the household of prayer. Sleeping with folks in the ministry. <laughs> Hating on folks in the ministry. Got alts and grudges. Getting high. Drunk. Party like, party like a rock star. The master of that servant. That's Yah, y'all. 
should come in the day when he looked not for him. Thought you was going to plan it and get away with it. Your heart not right. Please don't never become the type of person that's plotting sin. You so upset. You so disgruntled about your marriage. Now you got you setting up your little 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 little, little fling on the side. Gonna justify. Well then the most high is gonna come in a time he's gonna catch you intentionally. You ain't getting away with it. And the master of that service shall come in the day when he looketh not for him. Like a thief in the night. See, those that really plot to make it, and even though they might make mistakes, not will make mistakes, but might make mistakes and go against the most high, their heart is with him. He knows how to present them blameless before his presence because their heart is right. It's a heart condition, y'all. That's why if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you shall be saved. Your heart is involved, not just your mouth. Speak life, because uh, life life and death is in the power of the tongue. And when you speak, you be telling the truth of what's in your heart. You're not a liar, right? You confessed him as master, you meant it. Because he's not only the Mashiach, your savior, he's also master, your Elohim. Right? And the master of that service shall come in the day when he looked not for him because his heart wasn't right. And in an hour that he's not aware of, he's going to plot to catch you. And you can't, that can't be missed. If the most high plot to catch you because your heart ain't right, catch you with your works undone, that's exactly what's going to happen. And shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. that shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That is not us, y'all. In fact, Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for the sermon that the gleaning of the truth of your word. I praying that your word will forth with clarity, falling down in the souls of your children, springing up in everlasting life. Uh, give us a heart not to plot, to take kindness for weakness, but that we work, walk circumspectly before you with every intention on uh, uh, obeying you and going through the, uh, the, the, the purification process by the renewing of our mind that we might prove that which is good, acceptable in your perfect will in these last and evil days. We accept the assignment, we repent, we're tearing up that calendar with sin on it, plotting sin. We repent from it right now by the, by the, by the power of your ruach, by the power of your spirit. Change us into your image. And we be careful to give the praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore in the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson for uh, this morning. We pray that the word found you and unbound you if you was bound. Tear that calendar up, Quit plot and sin, and keep the wind in ya. You blessed by the lesson? Push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. I'm sure you're willing. If you're a supporter of this ministry, may the Most High continue to bless you if you'd like to become one. You got the cash app. All you got to do is put in 510-209-5818. Y'all want to talk about the word? So do I. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. We're going to talk about this lesson, y'all. Y'all want to talk about it? Dial the number 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.